Hey, what's going on, guys? How's everybody doing today? I'm doing well. Thank you for asking. Body beat down here, Michael. Uh, Thursday morning. Got my walk done. Got my breakfast done. Had a huge breakfast. Had three eggs and a giant bowl of leftover lean ground turkey spaghetti that I made last night. Um, so I'm feeling pretty good and pretty stuffed. I still need to jump on the bike and spin for my 30 minutes, and I'm, I'm going to do that eventually. Uh, right now, uh, I got a little bit on my mind, and I know that there's like 8 to 9 billion people on this planet, and probably only about 10 people are going to see this video. I'm not going to change the world, uh, just like I'm not going to change the world with any of my videos that I put out. <clears throat> However, I got to get this off my mind, off my chest, and uh, hopefully enlighten some people straighten some people out get some people to think and uh so let's start and i don't have anything wrote down so i'm going to kind of be all over the place i'm extremely uh good about forgetting words that i want to use and i'll sit here and fumble around for 10 minutes and f finally figure nothing out so anyway let's try and get this going guys uh this has to do with uh the ignorant comments uh, that we get on our videos. Uh, let me drink a little water, guys. Got some of them herbs and spices from that spaghetti still going on in there. Yum, yum. Anyway. Uh, yeah, and it's, it's not a new subject. You've heard me kind of touch on it before. And I got another YouTube channel uh, that, uh, that I'm subscribed to. And... He comments and has issues with it all the time as well. Uh, Mac Bean, Scottish Fitness. Uh, check out his channel if you would. And uh, it seems to run rampant on anything in the health and fitness community. And that goes from working out to foods to supplements to just basic, basically everything in the uh, in the field. And what you get and and. Let me go ahead and just kind of say I uploaded some uh, short videos to both my The Body Beatdown and my Mikey Sun TV uh, channels. Mikey Sun TV has been around since 2004, 2006. It was my main channel up until I started The Body Beatdown. Now The Body Beatdown is my main channel. However, to keep Mikey Sun TV going, and so maybe it don't get shut down. I don't know if they shut it down, but I keep it going. So I upload my Body Beatdown videos over there as well. So I'm, I kind of deal with both channels to some degree. Um, and I get a lot of views and a lot of comments anymore on Mikey Sun TV. Now that I don't really support it. You know why? Because people like to comment on health and fitness type videos. They have to put in their two cents worth. And I literally mean that. That's all their worth is, is two cents. <clears throat> so... You have a prefera. You have a wide range of people that comment on, let's just say, gym working out type videos. You got those that have been in the gym for 40 years. You got those that have been in the gym for four years. You got those that have been in the gym for four months. And you got those that have been in the gym for four days. And then you have those that have never stepped foot in a gym, never played sports, never been active, never done anything outside of picking their butts commenting and then you have people that sit on the couch eat Doritos and watch Netflix and then you have even slugs worse than that if there's anything worse than that that like to comment so you have this wide range of people now keep in mind I'm open to suggestions uh, I'm open to some tips some hints some tricks some different things I'm open to stuff however the first thing that you guys have to understand is nine times out of ten if not more, people that work out and do these things don't care what you have to say when it comes to you're doing that wrong, or you should be doing this, or that's totally incorrect, or you're an idiot, or whatever the case may be. We don't typically care about how you think and how you do something. You know what we want? We want you to watch our video and just leave a good comment. Say, hey, good job. That's it. That's all we want. Or nothing at all. Say nothing at all. 
But you don't get that. You get people in the comments, and it happens a lot when you do curls. If you ever watch curl videos, you're going to see it a lot. You know, people that do curls, whether it's barbell, dumbbell, machine, cable, or any sort of the thing. Any sort. It, it happens a lot on, on uh, those videos. You're going to see them come in. You're moving too much. You're not using a good range of motion. You're using too much weight. You're ego lifting. No reps were done that day, which is stupid that people say that. Uh, and just a whole bunch of comments that make no sense. Case in point, yesterday I did arms and I just shot a couple of quick clips, shorts. I didn't do any long videos. And I went up to a working set of 134 pounds. If you go back and you look at my short video from yesterday, you'll see the 134 pound one. Go watch it. My body was moving like so. You're going to move like so when you're lifting 134 pounds. I've seen 300 pound professional bodybuilders curling that much and moving. Do you know why? Do you know why you move? It's not because you're lifting too much weight. It's because your body moves. Go figure. Go figure that. Your body actually, I'm moving right now. My God, I'm probably sitting incorrect. I'm sure someone will comment and tell me I'm sitting incorrectly. So, people look at that and they tell you that you're not doing it correct. Your form isn't correct. You're moving too much. Your arms aren't extending enough. People literally want you to throw your arms down. I've mentioned this before. They want you to slap your arms down, extend them elbows out, and pop your elbows backwards. Come up all the way to here. Don't move your shoulder at all. Don't move your body at all. Pretend like you're encased in concrete, except for your arms, except for this right here. And that's all you're allowed to move. That's it. That's what they want you to move. They don't want you to do this. They don't want you to do this. They don't want you to do any of this. They don't want you to do nothing. They want you to go down, straighten the arms all the way up until they snap off, come up, squeeze, count to three, and then go down. That's what they want. And anything else other than that, you're doing it wrong. There's no... If, ands, or buts about it. You, do you know that people, and I just, I just recently found this out, just this year, probably, or within the last couple, three months or so. People do curls. They sit down and they have the barbell on their lap and they curl from here. That's, that's a legit move. That's legit. But guess what? Anything's legit. Too legit to quit. Anyway, do you know why? that everything is okay because there are no rules when it comes to working out. There's no rules and it doesn't matter what this person says or that person says or what you heard or what you think you heard. It doesn't matter. There's no rules, guys. And it's hard for people to understand that. It's like putting rules on art and photography and cooking and anything else like that. Do you know that even in construction, I watch a lot of videos, not a lot, but I do watch some videos sometimes of construction. People doing roofing, drywall, framing, building a deck, doing whatever. And I swear to you, there's every professional in the world comes in there and rings the heck out of every one of them. You're doing it wrong. Oh, my God, that wouldn't fly on my, on my job site. Where's the ocean? Where's this? Where's it? Shut up, man. Don't nobody care. Them people are out there making a living. They're making something, and it's going gonna, it's gonna to be okay. That roof ain't going to leak. That building ain't going to fall down. I know I was in construction 15 years, so I can look at something and see if it's okay, somewhat structurally. I'm not an engineer. I'm not even a carpenter. I was a helper. But I helped for 15 years, so I can kind of guesstimate on what's somewhat right and what's totally crazy, stupid, wrong. There's a lot of leeway in there. Leeway? Leeway? I don't know. Motor speedway? There's a lot of, there's a lot of area in there that's not just this. And that is with working out. You can do whatever you want, man. And it doesn't matter. Do you know? Okay, and I, up, I did another uh, curl yesterday with the same 
I, I went up to like 204 pounds. I just stuck it on there just to see if I could do a cheat curl. I swear to God, and I don't even, I'm not even religious. I don't even believe in the God. I swear to you, I put in the title, cheat curl. And then I put on the video text, uh, some font, the text I typed out on the video. This is a cheat curl. Pay attention. This is a cheat curl, not a strict curl. And you will still get people commenting, that's stupid. Yeah, you're not using correct form. You're not doing this right. You're not doing that right. I swear they do not understand the difference between night and day. It doesn't matter. That's how stupid people are. And this is what we got to deal with every time we upload a video. Every time. And this is nothing new. Like I said, I've been doing YouTube for years. I started doing YouTube big time in 2016, uh, maybe towards the middle or the end of 2016. Doing it big time on Mikey Sun TV. I've been doing this channel for maybe a year and a half or so. And I have seen it time and time again. The professionals come in there. The keyboard warriors, the idiots, the people that have nothing better to do with their time than to come in there and tell you how wrong you're doing something instead of saying, good job. Or instead of not saying anything at all. Heck, even hit the, the thumbs down button. Whatever. But we get tired of you giving your thoughts and opinions on something that we're doing. We get tired of it. It gets annoying. And again, we've all done it. Okay? I'm not going to say I'm not guilty of going and telling someone maybe they did something wrong to do something different. Case in point, my buddy John over at McBean Scottish Fitness. I remember commenting on him doing deadlifts, I think. It might have been deadlifts. I don't remember. Is he deadlift or squat? We'll just say deadlifts for poops and giggles. But he kind of rounds his back. Uh, and he, he don't keep his butt down. He don't keep his shoulders and head up. And he wears big, thick, thick sewed tennis shoes or work boots. And technically, that's not right. But, and I felt bad and I apologized. I went about it incorrectly and called him out on it in an improper way. I felt bad about it. So I went and apologized to him probably a dozen times. And, uh, even in the comment section, apologized, said I was wrong, and because I was, I shouldn't have called it out like that. You 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 handle these things in a subtle way. Hey, you know, uh, I've been really practicing on deadlifts myself. I've been watching a lot of videos from a lot of these you know old timer gurus that do this stuff, and this is how they suggest maybe trying it. And I just want to pass this information on to you to maybe help. And he don't really need help anyway. The guy don't even train for deadlifts. And he can freaking deadlift whatever he wants. It's stupid. He's stupid strong. Check out his channel. Mac Bean Scottish Fitness. Great guy. And uh, so I felt really bad about that. And so I had to correct myself on it. And uh, man, don't nobody care to hear your sour, cruddy criticism. And the list of comments that I got on one of my curl videos that I just uploaded... Uh, was insane. I mean, everybody saying something negative. I think I had like probably 10 comments on that video, maybe 10 or 15. And I think maybe one comment was okay. But literally, everybody, you're doing this wrong. Not one curl was seen that day. Improper form, moving too much, not extending the arms, etc., etc. Too much, your ego lifting. I mean, every comment. So that's made me go and on Mikey Sin TV, turn off all my comments. Now, I can't turn them off on all my old videos. I'd have to go in and do it manually, which is stupid. They need to fix that. Uh, but right now, comments are turned off on anything new that I upload. And on those uh, new shorts that I uploaded, I turned them off. And uh, I'm considering doing that on the body beatdown. Because I'm just tired of dealing with it. But then that keeps my good community and good people from leaving good comments. And maybe them saying, hey, I appreciate what you did. You inspired me to, to do better, to push myself. And that's what we do this stuff for. That's why we make these videos, to inspire people. And they help inspire us to do better in the gym because we know that someone's watching and paying attention 
and that we might be helping somebody. So that inspires us to do better. There's many times I do videos just because I know I need to upload something and that'll help keep me accountable for what I'm doing and maybe help other people be accountable as well. Why would you want to ruin that? Just because you don't agree with how someone does something. Why would you want to ruin that and take that away from so many other people? <clears throat> and again, I know this video won't touch but 10 people. But maybe those 10 people will be the ones it needs to touch. Uh, because a lot of us out there are dealing with the same thing. And a lot of people are online that don't need to be. You should probably be in the gym. That's what you should probably do. Which speaks volumes to them. Because you can go and look at their channel and they don't have nothing to show for themselves. Nine times out of ten, if not more. They have nothing to back up their claim that they're a professional and they should be giving you opinions anyway. They're just going by what he said, she said. So, and even at that, it's still up for interpretation. Working out is an art. You can do whatever you want. Leading off of this, let's go into why do you lift heavy, Mike? Why would you do a weight that you have to move your body one inch? Why would you do a weight that you have to do that? Have you ever talked to a professional bodybuilder? I'm talking open class classic, 212, etc., etc. Someone who actually competes in bodybuilding. Have you ever spoke to them? Have you ever spoke to a power lifter, an Olympic lifter? Have you ever spoke to a crossfitter? Have you ever talked to them? I bet you haven't. Because none of them will tell you to do lightweight to build muscle, strength, and put on size. None of them will tell you to do that. Find somebody that says that and let me know. In order for you to do a curl and not move your body whatsoever, you would probably have to stop at 25 pound dumbbells or maybe even at the most a 50 pound barbell to not move at all. Guess how much strength and size and muscle you're going to put on from doing that zero. You know why? Because that's not enough. That's not enough weight to do what you're wanting to do. Now, for those of you that want to just get tone, those of you that want to look like a J.C. Penny underwear model or a J.C. Penny lingerie model or something like that, that's fine. That's what you need to do. Lighter weights, more reps, strict diets, all that good stuff. That's great. Go for it. Most of the time, and I'm just going to speak on uh, male's behalf. Most of the time when you see a guy go in the gym, he's not wanting that. That's not what he's looking for. He's not looking for a Justin Bieber body. He's wanting to get big, strong, and put on muscle and size. That's what he's wanting. You cannot do that by lifting light weights. You will not do it. Also, when you see someone doing a heavy weight... And I'm just going to say heavy weight because some people, some people might grab, you know, weights, weight is relevant to the person moving it. So what's heavy to one might not be to the other. But I'm going to just say this. If I grab my 100 pound dumbbells and you see me doing a sitting shoulder press and my face is turning inside out and my I look like Arnold Schwarzenegger, I look like I'm about to blow up. That doesn't mean I'm ego lifting. That means I'm moving some heavy weight. What did I say just a minute ago? You have to move heavy weight to get bigger and stronger. If I'm sitting here pressing 50 pound dumbbells for 10 reps, six sets, how much muscle am I gonna put on? How much strength? None. None. That's not how it works. Well, first and four play, first and four skin, my bad. You have to have plenty of food in. You got to get plenty of protein. You got to get some calories. Hence the reason I've got my stomach back after I lost some weight. You got to put on some weight to be able to move some weight. You have to be uncomfortable when you're lifting. You cannot lift light and expect to look big. That's not how it works. You cannot expect your body to not move while you're working out. 
okay? Your body's going to move. When you have a barbell, let me scoot back a little bit for those of you that need a little bit of visual reference. When you have a barbell in front of you, that weight is literally a foot plus out here in front of your body. You're going to move your body. Your body is going to move. Okay, some people even like to bend their legs a little bit and get a little assistance like that. I've done that. Matter of fact, I think I did it some yesterday. Because trying to stay so stiff, uh, trying to stay so stiff, your legs and all that locking them out is uncomfortable. Number one, it can actually hurt your back. I have a horrible back. I have chronic bad back. I've had it since I was 25. The stiffer and more rigid that I am when I'm trying to do a curl, the more pressure that is on the bottom part of my back that's hurt. Do you know that I can do that 204 pound cheat curl and not even hurt a dang bit? Or I can take and do a 50 pound curl and there's a good chance that I'm going to tweak my back? That's how it is. That's how it works. See, we're not all the same. We're not all built the same. We're all human, but we're not all the same. We don't respond the same. Our bodies don't respond the same. That's why I say whenever you work out, if you're going to do something heavy and crazy, make sure you know your body. Make sure you're, you're tight and you know how to you know contract and, and keep things nice and safe and ready to move that heavy weight. Watch how I go up and I go back and look at my videos if you can. Go look at me do like a 400 and plus, a 500 whatever shrug. Oh my God, first of all, I'm going to hear, my God, you're not getting a full range of motion. You're moving about that far in a shrug. So shut up about the range of motion. Go and you get under, you, you're you going to watch me go up to that weight and I'm going to get myself set and ready and make sure that I am mentally prepared and my body is ready to move that much weight. Same thing when I do a deadlift or a squat or anything else that I do heavy. Whenever I do heavy dumbbell chest presses, whether it's flat or incline, whenever I do a heavy dumbbell uh, sitting shoulder press, I always make sure that my arms are tight and secure into my body and that I have control of my wrists because that's the first thing that's going to go when you lift a heavy dumbbell is your shoulder, is your uh, wrist and your uh, elbows are going to be flinging all over. You got to have control. So that's the first thing in my mind that I'm doing. Sometimes whenever I'm shooting a video, I even say, my elbows are tucked. I'm ready. I'm ready to go. Because if you're not ready for the movement, you can get hurt. This, again, this video is going to fall on deaf ears. And we're at 23 minutes right now. And it's 23 minutes of me speaking truth and facts that won't get hurt by the 8 billion people on this planet. I don't know what to do other than turn off comments or ignore. And I've tried ignoring. I've tried laughing things off. I've tried making comments. I've tried snapping back. I've tried being polite. And at the end of the day, I don't really know what to do to keep me sane. Other than turning comments off or not posting videos at all. So... I don't know. It's, it's, it's really, really toxic. The online community on many different topics is toxic. And uh, I mean, I, even if I post food, you're not doing that right. Well, that's not nice. You should add more flavor. You should add more salt and pepper. Or you should add more, you know, herbs and spices and this. I don't want to. Number one, I'm not going to add salt. I don't need salt. I don't need extra salt. Whatever's in the food's in it. I use a salt substitute. I don't want to put more stuff in my food because sometimes that might not be healthy. Not only that, sometimes it's going to cost more money. That's more effort. I don't care. My food's good enough for me. I don't care. I'm not in a gourmet restaurant. I'm just trying, I'm just trying to get some nutrients in my body. I don't give a crap. Guys, stop with the comments. Stop. We're tired of it. And there's a lot of my subscribers out there that know exactly where I'm coming from because you deal with it every day. We're tired of it. And if you're tired of it, take this video and share it with the world. Because, like I said, we got about 8 billion people, probably about 9 by now, that need to see this 
and they need to see other people making the same kind of video and getting it out there. And I promise you, if I see your video and you make one like this, calling out these people, I will share it. I promise. Bring it to my attention, I'll share it. Because it needs to get out there. People need to be shut down. How about giving people a pat on the back? You know, if I was making videos of me just sitting here playing video games, which I do, eating Doritos, and doing nothing, drinking some soda, you wouldn't say a thing. You wouldn't say a thing negative. Or if there was like 500 comments, there'd be like two negative comments. But heaven forbid, someone works out and they do something that you don't agree with because there's only one way to do something and if you don't do it that way whoo lord have mercy you just broke some all kind of sins all kind of rules if you don't go like this to this I'll work out how I want to I always have I always will and pretty much anyone else out there that has been doing this for any amount of time is doing the same thing so stop being an idiot, stop trying to ruin people's days, and stop trying to put your opinions and thoughts and things that you've heard and that you swear the gospel at this point in time because, well, somebody said, stop putting that on everyone else. Put out your own videos. Do what you want. Okay? The grown-ups out here appreciate that if you'll just keep it to yourself. All right? For those of you that are subscribed to my channel, for those of you that pop into my channel and they watch my videos and they give me good compliments and they say good things and they try to help others and they, uh, t you know, discuss things and talk about things that they're doing and their and their life and maybe they're working out and this, that, and the other. Those of you, I love you, truly. You support me, I support you. And we need more of us out there, okay? Really appreciate all of you. I hope you got something out of this video and I hope... One day, things can change. I know they won't, but I can always hope. All right? Like, share, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff to the body beat down. That's me, the guy who does everything wrong. And don't forget, get up, get out, get red. Do it, do it, and stay tuned. I got back in shoulders today and deadlifts tomorrow, and I'm sure I'm going to do something incorrect. We'll see y'all later. Get up, get out, get ran, and do it, do it!